President Biden tweets out, look, he always says that. It's no joke. I think you should be able to be a billionaire if you can earn it, but just pay your fair share. I think you ought to pay a minimum tax of 25%. It's about basic fairness. Fairness is basic, folks. This little meme that he posted. You know the average tax billionaires pay? 3%. No billionaire should be a, paying a lower tax than somebody working as a school teacher or a firefighter. God, how many times <laughs> have we had to debunk this stupid fucking study? But here's so yeah, of course he's using numbers from the that saws and Zuckman. It's like study. A, it's like a spreadsheet that Sam Bankman Fried put together. <laughs> it's ridiculous, and then everybody uses it as gospel. Look at gospel, this gospel. The new Twitter to the rescue. Well, that's because. A billionaire owns Twitter, Nate. And he actually responded to this tweet and tagged Community Notes and asked if it was correct. And then like a day later, comes out here and they say, this is incorrect. New Twitter. It says, readers added context they thought people might want to know. This is incorrect. Fact check false. (laughs) Average income tax rate in 2020 was 13.6%. Top 1% of taxpayers paid a 25.99% average rate more than eight times higher than the 3.1% average rate paid by the bottom half of taxpayers and increased from 20.1% in 2019 to 22.2% in 2020. That's from taxfoundation.org. So I wanted to go through a few things on this, uh, this, this link that millions of people have had the opportunity to go and see. 21.2 million views. And so the, this is pretty cool. Now, they, they go through and you can see... Now, first off, what he's talking about are billionaires. When we talk about the top 1%, billionaires would be more in the top 0.1% of that. So the number could be different. But what they are using here... Probably top 0.01%. They're meshing together the uh, ProPublica report uh, and using unrealized gains and what amount of taxes a billionaire paid versus what their unrealized gains were. So just completely going outside how we define income and how it's taxed. And they're combining together the Saws and Zuckman study saying uh, that billionaires and millionaires pay a lower percentage than school teachers and, and firefighters uh, on that. That's so how they didn't use police there. They've got a new... <laughs> the last time we saw this uh, was from 2017. So we have an updated version of this. High income taxpayers paid the highest average income tax rates. The top 1%... Average income tax rate was 26%. The bottom 50%, the average rate was 3.1%, according to the right-wing extremist group, taxfoundation.org. And so that's that's cool. Uh, there's a few things that were, oh, the top 1% share of income taxes. Their share of the income taxes has increased over time. All right. That makes sense. Their wealth has increased over time. Even since that in, that Tax Cuts and Jobs Act from the evil Emperor Trump. In 2018, I believe, wasn't it? Uh, twenty. I think that's the first year it was in effect. Yeah, yeah. so then look. It actually went straight up. Straight up since 2018. So that's the, the share of the income taxes increasing over time. And that's because, so, all right, when you cut taxes, right, that means more money gets to enter into productivity. And when more money enters into productivity, then more wealth is generated. Mm -hmm. When wealth is generated, people pay themselves more. And when you pay themselves more, even though it's a lesser percentage, you would rather have a lesser percentage of more money than a high percentage of like less money. I see you bought into all the trickle-down economics propaganda that Reagan was drilling into your head. Yeah, I mean, I read the trickle-down economics book Mm -hmm. that um, somebody put out. I, it was Milton Friedman, I think, yeah, put it out there. Yeah. Coin the term. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Half, That's a joke, by the way. Half of taxpayers, the top 50% of taxpayers paid 97.7% of all of the federal income taxes. The top half of taxpayers. <sighs> this is going to be a real problem. 90. It is a problem. For sure. Yeah. Bottom. Delicious. Share of total income taxes paid by bottom 50%, 2.3%. Okay. 
Now, to me, when you talk about, he says, pay your fair share. He doesn't say, I want you to pay more. He doesn't say anything like that. He says, pay your fair share. So when you What's say, fair? what is your share? Well, the top 1% pay 22.2% of all of the income taxes that come in. Just 1% of the income earners pay 22.2% of all of it. So I, I think we're at more than fair share, but of course we're all talking about stolen money in the first place. So we're arguing again about something that we, you know, don't even like in the first place. One more thing, you know, that evil, evil tax cuts and jobs act, which lowered taxes for the rich, of course, turns out everyone's taxes went down after the tax cuts and jobs act. Every, everyone's uh, average tax rate went down after that went into place. So even for the bottom 50%, it goes from 4% in 2017 down to 3.4% the first year that was enacted and down to 3.1% in 2020, but then we got some COVID money coming into that. And it's also the case that for the top 1%, it went from 268 down to 25.4. They, and then they, back up to 26%. Yeah, and then it went back up a little bit uh, while most of all the other ones went down, actually, again. And then the uh, top 1% went up a little bit. Actually, it went down in all three of these years. It's been creeping back up. Huh, how about that? Interesting. <clears throat> how about that? One more. You see, one thing I consider to be a white pill, so I said some people wouldn't think it was a white pill, is when we get to present some data to prove people's ideas wrong. It's, I like being right. Fact and check. I like fact check false. I'm not trying to be mean to anyone. It's just, here's the truth about it. You can say whatever you feel about these things, and I understand that that's how you feel about it. But let me just show you the and numbers. Let me, say, let me say this. You're welcome to feel that way. People are welcome to feel this way. I don't want way. to change your feelings. <clears throat> we got to. But there is an objective truth. 